City officials say that this notice was made out of an abundance of caution, but a lot of folks are wondering what if they drank the water before the notice was sent out. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez, she is addressing those very, very important concerns tonight. Haley. That's right, Keith. I mean, everybody's got questions about, is it safe to wash my hands? Is it safe to brush my teeth? What happens if you can and what happens if you can't and you already did? I asked an internal medicine specialist about that to find out answers for you. Water needs high pressure to keep out parasites and bacteria, all things that can hurt you. But will this hurt you? Hand washing is safe, says Dr. Shane McGee of Kelsey Seabold, but consider alcohol-based hand sanitizer afterward. The city says bathing is fine. Dr. McGee says the vulnerable populations, those over 65 and kids under five, may want to try and avoid it out of an abundance of caution until the notice is clear. But if you already did it, he says you're probably fine. Because you have to get enough bacteria or parasites, or whatever it is, on your hands, then you have to touch something and then eat that. So you'll probably be fine regardless. Uh, but it is best to wash with boiled water, wash with bottled water, or if you do wash your hands with tap water to uh, use an alcohol-based product afterwards, or some hand sanitizing product afterwards. Even if you were to drink um, the bad water, uh, you have to drink enough of it to cause a problem. Is that taking a risk with just brushing your teeth? I any water that's contaminated uh, and you put in your mouth could uh, cause infection. Uh, you're right that the smaller amount of water you use, the better. If you were to ingest a bacteria that could make you sick, symptoms would include diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, dehydration, and abdominal pain. And here's a tip for you. When you do boil the water, Dr. McGee says that you want to bring that boil up to a, or you want to bring the water up to a rapid boil and let it boil for two to three full minutes. That would ensure that any bacteria in the water would be killed off in that two to three minutes. Reporting live, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.